Good evening, everyone. And today okay. is the last Good evening, day of this year. Good evening, Bela. Mm -hmm. Missed you. I don't know where you've been. And it's lovely to see you here again. And just a couple of days and you are in the new year. So if you look back, a whole year has gone by, right? Just a day or two left. But how did it go? How was it for you? Or how did you decide it will be for you? If you think for a moment, there would be many reasons for you to feel that maybe I could have done this right. Maybe I could have not done this. Maybe I should have taken that challenge. There are so many maybes that may crop up in your mind. But do you realize you only keep looking for all the maybes and you do not look for those aha moments that happened in your life in the last one year. So what did 2023 do to you? Did it give you or set goals for you or not goals? I don't, you know, goals is a very uh, dangerous word because if you set goals and if you don't meet them, nobody's questioning you, but you yourself then go into a state of dilemma at some point that why couldn't I do it? Or why was I not able to fulfill X, Y, Z angle of my life? So how many of us honestly look back and have deep gratitude for everything that happened in our lives? Everything. Be honest. Don't just raise your hand. You're not going to please me. But raise your hands if you genuinely feel that you achieved something or there was gratitude in your mind, you know, for all that has happened. The good the not so good, and maybe even the ugly. Because everything, everything offers a brilliance. There is a brilliance in every situation of our life, provided we are open enough to see, understand, and feel what it was. So are we open enough to accept it? How many of us really have gratitude tonight for what we have gone through. Anyone? Yes, Apurva, would you like to say something about it? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, this year, I mean, 2023, I am full of gratitude. I can, when I look back, I can only see the happy moments and a lot of amazing things happened this year. And the best part was when I was a little down and I was not, I was feeling very lonely mm. to use the word lonely. Then Mithu came in my space. So this year has been amazing for me to uh, say it in a very short manner. Okay. So if you can uh, share with me what Radical Masters would like to tell me for the coming 2024, ma'am. Of course, I will do that. Just let me talk to one or two of the raised hands. But today you're the first one, Apurva. I'm thank not you, thank you. <laughs> You will be the first today. Yes, Samya. Yes, Samya. What would you like to tell me? Um, yes, ma'am. Uh, radical came into my life 2023. So I have a huge thing to be grateful for. Really mm -hmm. huge, uh, full of gratitude. So uh, it's had its own ups and downs. You know my story. So it's had its, all the happenings uh, it had. But somehow... In the past, I would only be very grateful for the for the good moments, for the blessings that came my way. But this year taught me to be grateful even for the not so good moments because uh, it kind of taught me that there was more to it than than meets the eye. So right. I'm right. very grateful. I'm very grateful for that awareness because uh, I wouldn't have been able to sail through so many things that were going on if if it wasn't for that guidance that Radical gave me. So I'm mm -hmm. so grateful for it. And so grateful for you, Arti, ma'am. You were a big part of my journey this year. So thank you so much. It was meant very to grateful be. to you. It was meant to be. But it was. 
yeah. I would also like to add, Somya, that you said that radical became a strong part of your life. It did, Somebody yes. Somebody introduced you to radical. Somebody. Yes. That's I'm so grateful for her. Yes, 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 absolutely. I am very grateful for that. Yes. Thank you, thank you. And uh, yes, that 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 thought uh, uh, softened a lot of feelings for me. So, oh, yes, wonderful. I am very grateful. Thank you. Thank you, Soumya, for talking about Radical. That I would like to just mention a few things to all of us here. Since we are on the Radical platform in terms of the consciousness of Radical, and we are seeing the benefits, we are seeing the changes, we are seeing the uniqueness, and we are seeing the evolution of all of us, right? So it's not about, you know, just talking uh, through your hat, as they say. Today, you're talking through your heart. And you understand things from your heart. And that credit goes completely for this whole, whole overhaul that Radical has done for all of us. And I think we are in complete gratitude for this. Thank you, Atman, from all of us. And thank you, Radical, for being and making things so simplified that it's just part of our lives now. Yeah. So thank you, Soumya, for that. Yes, Sharda, would you like to speak? Can you speak today? Yes, I can speak. Wonderful. <laughs> first, yeah. I'm going to tell you the ugliest part because first we always think of the good part, but I'm going yeah. to start with the ugliest part. Yeah. Um, of course, I do not know what the brilliance is in it, but I would want the brilliance. My husband doesn't ever like me to join any of these courses. Right. So I respect him. At right. the beginning, we had these uh, Tom and Jerry fights. Right. <laughs> And then after that, I realized I should accept if he doesn't like it, fine. He says, you can do anything when I'm not at home. But when I'm at home, I don't want you to join any courses, neither online or physical or anything. Right. So he's respected. I have respected him. And he's respecting me also in that. That's the ugliest part. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. And the wonderful part is uh, when my son said, Mommy, I've stopped drinking from the last three months. That gave me immense joy, okay. immense joy for me. So that was, of course, thanks uh, that I put an effort also, nice. like healing myself and he got healed, I presume, right? And, hmm. and because my father was a drunkard, right. so then we used to see all these fights, we grew up with all those, you know, that negative atmosphere like right right so then then i healed myself it was my own self i think needed healing a lot of healing i did on my own mm -hmm. but on and often kept asking help from all you mentors mm -hmm. and uh, when he told me mama you know one thing i'm going to give you all good news so he just put on whatsapp i'm getting married so we were shocked <laughs> We said, okay, congratulations. He said, no, you're not asking me what, whom, why. So I, we said, no, if you have chosen your partner, fine. He said, no, I'm living a new life from the last three months and I've stopped drinking. So that actually, you know, the way he put it first, we accepted it, but at least I didn't accept it 100%. Right. But then after that, when he said, no, I've stopped drinking, it has given me immense joy. Yes. And now it is nearly 10 months, 32 days, 10 months, 30, wow. 32 or 31 days, he's not had any drink. <laughs> right. That is wonderful. That is wonderful, Shata. But what you talked about, the ugliest part, you see, perhaps you had been in the earlier times, a totally mm -hmm. devoted wife in the sense for doing anything and everything that was. A continued, you know, continuous journey for both of you without ever raising a reason to feel that you need to do things differently for yourself. Maybe. Hmm. I you, no, no, you're right. You're 100% right. <laughs> right. So suddenly, it's like, you know, a new branch branching out of that tree. And mm -hmm. uh, maybe the, the, uh, it was not, uh, it was something that was creating a little bit of 
discomfort in the energies of your husband because mm-hmm. he was not used to seeing you branch out right yeah yeah so, yeah and he doesn't know how to handle it actually so it is nothing to do with you it is his own sense of um, i would say not insecurity but a little bit of a gap which has come in his mind that what is my wife becomes totally independent now we're not talking running businesses etc it's in terms of the partnership so there mm-hmm. is a tendency and feeling that if i give her too much of leeway then she'll be totally into this and then she'll forget me forget me in the sense you know ignore me or right not, right give something. him less preference you mean less absolutely. preference absolutely okay sometimes so, this has come into my space also <laughs> so right. i said maybe it's my second thought so i just didn't pay attention on it like, so the you know? point is as you said you're working on yourself you have to continue working on yourself it has helped your son and similarly keep working on yourself one day your husband will also understand that no this is the space she needs for herself and that's okay you're not going anywhere yeah. and yeah, spain, yeah. <laughs> spain is too far from sri lanka so you're not going anywhere so <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you so much for these thank interest, you thank all you. of you so now i bella yes yeah, sorry i didn't see your hand yes bella good evening ma'am uh, mm-hmm. uh for me i never I had never decided that uh, what would be my 2023 would be but um, to like uh, samya said radical entered my life you know i was a seeker i was i don't know i was finding kuch dhoond rahi thi bahut saalon se aur bahut kuch seekha bahut kuch course kiya but uh, uh radical was a miracle in my life you know i got to understand myself and uh, i got to understand the words you know the meaning of gratitude deeply the things that i was taking for granted and uh, the word acceptance that has a very deeper and deep meaning for acceptance and oneness this oneness word and i was doing the crown chakra recently so no grudge no hurt nothing affects me when i am healed everybody around me surround me is healed and the life is so happy and miracles started happening uh, as you know i was not attending the classes and by god's grace after a long time i joined today just to ex- express my gratitude to radical and to all the mentors that my daughter she was married for 7 years and this year she delivered twin boys Oh congratulations <laughs> wonderful wonderful congratulations so yeah. so no words of thanks nothing uh, deep gratitude i'm i'm so obliged that uh, i saw this path and i'm working on it thank you so bella you should be grateful to yourself first of all <laughs> you were the one who chose this path and it is not a religious path you know some people have this feeling that we're trying to build up a cult or something like that or we're taking you on another religious journey or a spiritual journey which is more religious in nature no it's not that at all what radical does is simple it's a consciousness you are a consciousness i am a consciousness we all are a consciousness we are bound together by this program today so this technology which is helping us come together is also a consciousness yeah everything is a consciousness but in that to find your own space your own identity your own uh, persona your own uh, story knowing ki okay this is my story i handle it i uh, deal with it i sort it out other you know uh, pieces which are entangled in my life like threads they will also get sorted out haven't we seen it in the knitting bull etc when we have to disentangle it we choose one and we start taking it out from various sources till it comes out completely so that ball gets disentangled so that ball is you the other entangled balls have to decide 
whether they want to get disentangled or not, right? So that disentanglement, and of course, with the learnings from uh, radical, all the chakras, I mean, we didn't know. Did you know? Did I know that apart from the seven major chakras, the 250 minor chakras that we have in the body, each chakra is an energy point, and each chakra is reaching out to convey different messages to us. We didn't know that. But when it started falling in place and realizing, why am I feeling heavy here? Why is it itching here? Why is my elbow hurting? Why is there pain in the back of my, you know, the, the calf? Why is my ankle going like this? Was also, and why, you know, maybe in the chest area or in the abdomen area, there were so many things. And when the uh, reading used to come out, from the magical books, and of course today as I'm going to do it from this wonderful pothi that we have. So what did it do? It gave us answers that were absolutely meant for us. And that's what we're going to do today because let's ask radical, let's all get together to understand all these wonderful chakras. What is it that it is trying to tell us individually for all our 2024? For each of us separately, what does it convey? And what does it want us to either follow or attend or ignore or take the journey forward, right? So again, whoever wants a reading has to raise their hand. Apurva is first today. And I will look at the list as it appears over here for me because otherwise it's not easy for you know deciding who should go first. Okay, Apurva, here goes. Today, you are the first one. All right. So, here I go. And my eyes fall on AR15, right mercy chakra. Okay, reminder to let go of the need to manifest others' revengeful attitude towards you. That means the guilt of hurting or dam damaging others in the past, need to be revenged by others, need to be forgiven by others, need to forgive self for hurting or damaging others. So has it happened in the past that there have been reasons that you have either got hurt or in the process hurt others? Uh, prior to radical, uh, most of the relationships that I've been, like friends and everything, teachers, friends, I mean, all the good relationships I have lost. So yeah. somewhere it was that they were trying to help me and I was not able to respond to that. So indirectly, unintentionally, I've hurt many people. Right. Many people, their sentiments. So take care of it in terms of, you know, the mercy chakra is talking to you. Very simple. I invite others to forgive me as I forgive myself. This should be a, well, I shouldn't say mantra, but start your new year with this. That I invite others to forgive me as I forgive myself. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Thank it's you, ma'am. Okay. You're welcome. Ah, next is Soumya. Yes, Soumya. I will take up reading for Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Right. So here goes. Okay. CR8. <coughs> Right courage chakra. It's a reminder to have the courage to receive. Samya. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> you understood. I understood. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. So I'll, I'll read the keywords for others to understand yes. too. Yes, courage to receive. Receiving against all odds. 
difficulty in receiving, fearless receiving, adverse association with receiving. Now, when we talk of receiving, we know very clearly that it could be anything, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, material, financial, right? So if there is a reason that you are not able to receive it, you need to work on it and continue working on it as you are. I know that. So yeah, just continue with what you're doing because somewhere if there is still a reason for you not to open up completely. Right. Somewhere if you are still having, you know, that feeling comes inside you that why or you know, the frustration that comes in. Yes. That's not needed. Just continue with your, you're doing very well. You are on the path. Radical tells you, keep going, keep flowing with it and things will fall in place for you. Thank you. Ma'am. Because there's no reason, you know, that, I mean, look at the bill. I mean, what a happy person she is today. Absolutely. It's taken a long time, but that's okay. It's okay. Everything has a journey. Look at uh, Sharga, seeing a son who has been maybe addicted before and then he one fine day rings up and says on his own that right. I'm good, right? So yeah, right. there are many reasons in everybody's life. Continue on that path as per radical. So I courageously open up to receive all that the universe has to offer me. All that yeah. the universe... <clears throat> I courageously open up to receive yeah. all that the universe has to offer me. Okay. Great. Yeah? So Great man. Take out maybe uh, 10 minutes or 15 minutes of your time on the 31st night. Okay. And just say all this. I don't know why it came to me and I'm saying it to all of you. On 31st night, say it and then go to sleep. Get up on first morning, say it again, and start spending your day. Then for sure. Days, weeks, months thereafter. Okay. Perfect. For sure, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Give me hope. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Yeah. Of course. We are always hopeful. Totally. Okay. Next is Sharda. Yeah, Sharda, this is for you. Thank you. <clears throat> Sorry. We are five. That is right, polite, denial chakra. What does it mean? Sharda? <laughs> polite, <laughs> denial to say no. Polite, <laughs> denial to say no. Being able to say no as per the requirement. Difficulty in saying no to receive what you do not wish to receive. Okay. You have a difficulty in, you know, uh, saying no. You yes. may be agreeing to everything that is being asked of you even now. Even though yes. sometimes maybe you may not want to do it, but you are doing it. Right. If it is causing you emotional imbalance. Now, I don't yes. mean anger and frustration at that high level, but it still brings some kind of an energy uh, entanglement in your body somewhere. Mm -hmm. So it would be a good idea to not allow it to happen. Right? Oh, yeah. So uh, what is it that you do not wish to receive? It could be criticism. It could be offensive behavior. It could be unpleasant demands. I love radical. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I politely say no to receive what I do not wish to receive. Okay. Hmm? I politely Perfect. say no to receive what I do not wish to receive. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah? Thank you. Thank no, you so you're much. You're welcome. Thank okay, you. next is Chandini. I'm sorry, Chandini. Sorry, sorry. It's Poonam before that. Hi, Poonam. Nice to see you here. Hello. Hi, ma'am. I'm good. How are you? How are you? Good. All right. Good. 
So let me take the reading for you. Yeah, this is AC1, security chakra. Reminder to restore a sense of security and belonging. Reminder to feel secure. Poonam, have you started feeling secure? Actually, it's oscillating. It's sometimes oscillating. I feel secure and then sometimes I feel that I'm back to square one. Yeah. So, yeah. what are the masters guiding you? They're guiding you to the same path. Don't worry. You are taken care of. But just learn to accept that I am secure. Embrace that I am secure. Celebrate that I am secure. Okay? Why? Because that is the mood point that has been part of your journey for the last about one year. Or actually before that also, but more in the last one year. Right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, yes. so the key words are insecurity, worries, fears, mm -hmm. the anticipation mm -hmm. of adversities, fear of losing something, and of course, fear of loss. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's anticipation of adversities, uh, I feel. Right, right. So, I rediscover the sense of security within me. I rediscovered a sense, sense of security within, within me. me. Yeah. Okay. No complicated sentences. Very simple. I rediscover the sense of security within me. And as I said, I mean, I'll repeat again. Please do it on 31st night, definitely. And again, when you get up on first morning. So that you're okay. setting the pattern for the whole year. That's what 2024 is all about. Right? Okay. Oh, yeah. thank you, ma'am. Just I'll repeat it. It's like I read is uh, it's what was that? I rediscovered sense of security within me. That's right. I rediscover the sense of security within me. Okay, okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Yes, now it's Chandni. Okay, Chandni. Hi, Chandni. Nice to see Hello. you. Here. Hello, ma'am. Okay. So, uh, the reading I get is HL2, li left liberal approach chakra. That is a reminder to give space to others. Now, where does this come from? If you have to give space to others, means that you have to be secure in that relationship. Hmm. You have to if you have a sense of or a need to be possessive, you need to let go of that. If there is a lack of space, yeah, because this is left liberal approach chakra, that means something that you are not able to impart or give to others, right? Uh, freedom or, or, or space and association of possessiveness with love. Does it, what would you like to say to this? Is it making sense to you? Actually not right now. No? I can't resonate with it. Okay, what does it make you feel? Is there nobody or no situation or anything blocking your space where or somebody else trying to interfere in your space where you are feeling that I feel a bit threatened. Not threatened that way, but yeah, you know, why is he coming in my space? He, she means it would be a situation. Last, last few months, I've consciously created more space for myself and okay. Uh, okay. let go of uh, that. I mean, uh, I've created that space, so I'm, I'm not able to resonate with this because okay. I've giving i'm giving space in uh, my close relationship with my family mm -hmm. uh, and not um, i mean maybe a year ago or two years ago this could have resonated but right now 
I okay. don't have any resonance with this. Fine, I'll take another reading for you. But I would recommend that if it has come up, do give a little bit of thought to it. Is that a Ji, Ji. Ko, ki aya? Oh, Maybe sure. there are some remnants, you know, that are there which sure. need to be addressed, which you are not aware of. It's not necessary, yeah, no. but it has to be, you know, right there for you. But I'll take another reading for you. Okay. Totally. I agree. I'll do that. Okay. Okay. Ah, F R eight. That is left awareness assimilation chapter. What is it? A reminder to consolidate and apply your outer awareness for a positive shift in life. That means assimilation of inner knowledge, application of the inner knowledge, integration of the inner wisdom, application of inner wisdom, assimilation of intuitive information, etc. So Chandni, you're already on this path, on this journey. And maybe yes. there is a lot that you have, not only from radical, maybe from other sources of information for you. You have already got a lot. Yes, but this resonates. Okay. So this maybe is strongly. All right. So yeah. maybe you're not assimilating it. Maybe you're not applying it. Maybe you're not using it. Maybe you're not sort of absorbing it completely. Yes. Mm -hmm. So yes. that is why this has come up. So <clears throat> uh, I integrate, consolidate, and apply my inner wisdom awareness for a positive shift in my life. I'll read again. I yes. integrate, consolidate, and apply my inner awareness for a positive shift in my life. My inner awareness for positive shift in my life. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah? Thank you. Yeah. Oh, you can also say, you know, I synchronize, okay? Yeah. With the positive shift in my life. Because it's all there. You just hmm. have to synchronize it. Hmm. So I synchronize with the positive shift in my life. Thank you, ma'am. Good. Thank okay. you so much. Then we have Bela. Yes, Bela. Mithai ka phila rahi आप किधर हैं आप बताइए वहाँ भिजवाते हैं नहीं हम सब बैठे हैं यहाँ मिठाई खाने के लिए ओके लेट मी गेट अ रीडिंग फॉर यू इन फैक्ट यू केम इन माय थॉट्स एंड आई थॉट कहाँ गई आई हैव नॉट सीन हर फॉर लॉन्ग टाइम तो अब लाइस कि आपने मेरे बारे में सोचा नहीं नॉट एट ऑल इट्स माय प्लेजर ओके तो ह Left attention chakra. Reminder to give attention in a constructive manner. I think you need to give a lot of attention these days. <laughs> With two little kiddos <laughs> around you. <laughs> now, besides that, it says giving attention, paying attention. Uh, or maybe you have been ignoring something, being indifferent, uh, forsaking. Uh, constructive ways of giving attention or unfavorable ways of giving attention. What do you make out of that? I really didn't understand because since September, you know, uh, I, I am just roaming from Delhi to Bangalore to Dubai mm -hmm. at three kids at three different places and they need me. So mm -hmm. it is who is important. You cannot say that. Because now my younger daughter is also expecting and I'm in Delhi right now. Then after one week, I would be going to Dubai and then to Bangalore. So I'm shuffling from three months. So how does that make you feel? I'm not exhausted. Uh, what I think is I cannot divide myself in three parts, but prioritize who needs more will be attended. 
So right now you're sitting on that galloping horse of the <laughs> merry-go-round. Yeah. Right? So you're just running, 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 and you know, from one step to another step, you're doing it just in an automation. But probably Radical is asking you to just pay attention to what needs your attention foremost. Maybe my husband. <laughs> <laughs> He's, Maybe. he's been ignored now. <laughs> <laughs> no, the point is, is, I mean, family, when you have a family, yes, that is uh, somewhere where attentions would get sort of, you know, divided. But uh, you need to just see where you are either ignoring or paying extra attention or not giving attention at all. So it may, it may not just be family. It could be other areas where you are good at and you have ignored it right now ma'am i want to sh i want to share you one thing you know yeah. um i did the course and the crown chakra was left since one and a half months so first week of december i thought i will sit and finish and you won't believe the first day how it the attention i'm talking about maybe i'm neglecting this part yeah. this part since long so it was जैसे आप पौधों को पानी देते हो एकदम सूखा हुआ तो वो कैसे गैप्स बुलबुले उठते हैं और एकदम से वो पूरा सोक कर जाता है that one hour of meditation with the crown chakra was it was like मेरे को बहुत प्यास लगी थी और I was so overwhelmed with energy and with everything and uh, one thing I forgot to tell you, you know, I was type of a person that insecurity and all that hurts and uh, I was scared of future or what all. But uh, being at this stage now where all my kids needs me, I'm not scared at all of every, anything in the world, you know. I just believe that whatever God will do, it will it is for my benefit and my kids' benefit. I'm not scared. That is a big achievement for Bela Suri. A okay. person, like person like me who is always her dumb dar, fear of unknown always I was having. Okay. I got rid of it. Because you paid attention to yourself. Yeah. Maybe because all the mentors helped me, you know, to come out of it. The key was my hurts, you know. Right. My hurts were so deep rooted that when the hurts were gone, nothing can now disturb me. Exactly, exactly. So somewhere the real Bela, who was hidden, hidden behind these hurts, mm -hmm. was looking for attention. So that she comes out of it and becomes her own person. Yeah. Okay? So that was firstly most important. Secondly, moving beyond. It's like taking baby steps, no? So as you keep moving up the ladder, you realize, you know, how far you can climb on your own, how far, how much further you can climb alone, and how much you need people around you to help you climb some steps. It's okay. Everything is okay. That's what Radical teaches us. Everything is okay. You don't have to worry about anything. But right now, if there is something that is not getting your attention and you've talked about the crown chakra is also part of it go ahead fulfill it all there's no need to think that okay it's only my children who need attention no it could be you yourself your body yeah. your your mind body and soul your own health your fitness your husband's health his fitness everything could be the reason right so i constructively and proactively pay attention Okay, and you can also say, you know, I synchronize giving attention as needed to my loved ones. Okay, thank you. I synchronize giving attention as needed to my loved ones. I hope you've got both of it. Yeah. Because if I turn the page, I won't be able to find it. Ma'am, I'm always recording what you say. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So who's next on the list? Who else wants a reading? Oh, we have a lot of people here. Yeah? Anybody else? Please raise your hand, then I'll know. Yashri yeah, Vidya, would you like a reading? Okay. Okay. Thank you. So here we go.
Atma, HR7, right reach out chakra. That means reminder to reach out to receive. Srividha, do you limit yourself sometimes? Do you hesitate to take or get what is being offered to you? Do you? Yeah, I do. You do? Okay. Yeah, because that is what it's trying to tell you. You've been with radical, you've understood radical, you are understanding radical. The universe is telling you, the masters are telling you, don't hold back. Okay? You've seen Bela's story. You've seen uh, Sharda's story. And uh, who else was it over here? Even Poonam for that matter. She's been, been through a I mean, um, very deep-rooted trauma. But she's made that effort. She's coming out of it. And Apurva, as she told us as when we started, right? So whatever it is that makes you either hesitate or if you are inhibited or if you feel you're an introvert, right? So just be there to receive whatever is being given to you. The universe offers so much. We don't accept those gifts and then we start blaming others for it. That's what we started with. No, how much gratitude do you have? Or you only remember the things that went wrong in your life. Correct? So I'll read the keywords okay. for you and see if it uh, also makes sense for you. Reach out to receive. Withdrawal from receiving. Resistance to receive. Reluctance to receive. Receiving proactively and actively receiving. Does it make sense, uh, Sri yes, Vidya? Yes, I can resonate. Certain okay. parts of my life, I think I have not been uh, reaching out to people who have been trying to reach out to me. Huh. I thought it was not needed or somehow I didn't feel like it was needed. But yeah, mm -hmm. okay. I will definitely consider. Yes. Excellent. So it would be a good idea to sleep on it on 31st yes. and get up on 1st with it again, you know. So you're recharged completely for the new year, 2024. So I grant myself permission to reach out and receive. Hmm? Yeah. Thank I grant you. myself permission to reach out and receive. You can also say, I synchronize with my ability to reach out and receive. Let's do the positive also, no? that I synchronize with my ability to reach yeah. out and receive. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Thank Super. you. So much. You're welcome, Sri Vidya. Then we have Anjali. Yes, Anjali. How are you? Hello. Hello. Hi. I'm good. Yeah. Tell me. Okay. So I'm getting a reading for you, Anjali. And this is intuitive because we are not talking about any problems. Any situations, it's just what Radical is telling us today, okay? Hmm, interesting. You have the same reading as, uh, as who? Are we, uh, uh, who was before Sri Vidya? Uh, Chandni. So it's the same reading for you. Left Awareness Assimilation Chakra. You're looking very pretty, Anjali. Thank you. <laughs> so, reminder to consolidate and apply your outer awareness for a positive shift in life. That means, again, Anjali, because I know you, you have such great powers and strength of knowledge. You have so much of knowledge. You are an absolute uh, box of knowledge. You just need to not just store it mentally, but start applying it, that knowledge, that wisdom internally within you so that you are completely, not only at peace, but you are able to then, you know, uh, share it with others around you. 
You are not incomplete. You have everything with you. You just need to assimilate it correctly for yourself so that you can then impart it to the world also. There's so many people waiting there to receive it from you. Apart from the work that you do in your daily life, this kind of knowledge, etc. Anjali, does it make sense to you? It does. It does. It does. Yeah. So I'll read again the key words for you so that you know you understand what I'm talking about. Assimilation of the inner knowledge, application of the inner knowledge, assimilation, integration of the inner wisdom, application of the inner wisdom. Assimilation of the intuitive information. Anjali, is it this okay? Is chakra? This is this F which chakra? This is F R eight. Okay. Yeah. So I integrate, consolidate, and apply my inner awareness for a positive shift in my life. You want me to repeat it again? No, I, I, it's okay. I remember. Yeah, FRA. FRA. No, but this may not be written inside the book. Book mein toh sab arpaib wagera likha hota hai na? I'll write it down. Yeah. Yes, please repeat. I integrate. Bolu? Hanji, Hanji. I integrate. Consolidate and apply my inner awareness for a positive shift in my life. Yeah. Can you repeat one once over? I integrate, consolidate and apply my inner awareness for a positive shift in my life. Richard. Yeah? Yes. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you. Anjali, for being here. Thank Happy you. Happy New Year and have a, have a beautiful, wonderful year ahead. Thank you, wish you the same. Yes, next is Barinder. Yes, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Barinder. How are you? Do you fine, want a reading, fine, Barinder? Thank you so much. Thank you. You want a reading? Yes, Barinder? yes, sure, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. FR 25, right appreciation chakra. Reminder to remain open to being appreciated and valued by others. But in there, inviting appreciation, yes, ma appreciation from others, being valued by others, appreciating others, Appreciation from the universe, praise, appraisal, or feeling undervalued, unappreciated, taken for granted, devalued. Parinder, does it make sense? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah? So, um, I'll give you the affirmation for it. I intend and invite one and all to appreciate me and value me for who I am. It's a very strong, very powerful one, actually. I think all of us can do it for ourselves, actually. Yes, I intend and invite one and all to appreciate me and value me for who I am. Any questions, Varinda? On this? Can you, 
repeat that statement? Uh, yeah, I intend for and invite for everyone. That this is the one I'm talking about. I intend and invite. If Apurva can write it, uh, so on the yeah, Apurva, if you please, can write it please. I intend and invite one and all to appreciate me and value me for who I am. Ye to first morning to zarur bolna hai. FR 25. Yeah, Parinda, any doubts or anything on this? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. You're looking very relaxed. I like that. I like it. <laughs> All right. Then who is left? Bhuvna. Bhuvna. Are you there? Bhuvna, are you there? She's not there. All right. Okay, Bina. I'm taking a reading out for you. Did you so, take my name, Arti? Who is this? Bhuvna. Bina? Yes, I took your name right now. Your hand is raised, no? Uh, I'm a uh, bit confused. Did, uh, whether you took my name? Uh... I just took your name just now. Be okay. Like yeah. So the reading for you is right uh, CR15, right honor chakra. That means reminder to let go of emotional effect of past shame and shameful incidents and invite others to honor you. Honor you, your family, and your universe. I'll repeat this again. Reminder to let go of emotional effect of past shame and shameful incidents and invite others to honor you, your family, and your universe. So, um, I, think, uh, I think I have some network issue or anything. I... Okay. I'm sorry no for problem. the inconvenience. Uh, no problem. Uh, can no you problem. keep mine on hold for five minutes and uh, give me the same reading? I mean, uh, having a bookmark over there. I'm really yeah. sorry. No problem. Yeah. Okay. I'll, in the meantime, I'll just check. Yeah, sure. Uh, Anjali Desai. Okay, Anjali. Yes. I'll do that for you. Yes. So... AC9, that is self-help chakra. Reminder to help yourself when you feel helpless. Does it make sense for you, Anjali? Yes. Yeah, okay. So I just read the keywords. Self-help, helplessness, powerlessness, being pressurized, being sandwiched, and a need to help oneself, right? So the affirmation is actually in the new year, it's asking you to not be in this powerlessness or helpless stage, the way it is coming out right now. So, so how do I go about it? Very simple. I help myself and I help others. Nothing else. The more you help yourself, and what does help yourself mean, Anjali? It means everything. That means help yourself, whether it is taking care of your mind, body, and soul. Each one requires a different level of, uh, let's say, um, dealing. Huh? Mind, you have yes. to feed it spiritually or with wisdom. Body, you have to take care of it physically and with diet and food and health and fitness and happiness, etc. And the soul, of course, is, is at the third level where you learn over time how to be neutral in life, how to be detached in life. Now, that's a long journey and we're all going through it. It can't happen overnight, right? So we're all going through it and sometimes it takes a lifetime to become like that. But since we are 
uh, I would say blessed having radical with us. This simplifies things for us, you know. It's like many of the questions which remain unanswered in the universe. Sometimes we ask so many people and we still don't get the solutions or the answers or the guidance for it, which radical helps us. So if you have the radical tool with you, which is the book or the pothi, which I am reading from right now, or, or you know, uh, um, online, etc., or the mentors or the open house or yes. online chat online, there's so many things that are there. So continue to help yourself. Arti, ma'am, this is, this is the puff. This is the exact thing. I only in my life, I don't help myself. I mean, I'm like you said today, it has been coming to me and I'm desperately, yes, I'm, I have been having some issues. I've not been well, all those things recently. And I go to radical. Sometimes I know radical is with me. I don't put myself too much in it, but somehow I've been feeling, you know, like this self-help thing now, like what to do, what to do. And mm -hmm. like you said, even physical health, which I have been ignoring and trying to get answers. Right. I have not been able to get, so I need to work on this, definitely. Simple sa hai, usne bola, kuch nahi karo, bolo, I help myself. Yes. Ah. I will. Yes. Thank you very what, much. What you can also do is, uh, if you want yes. to write it down, Anjali, yes. I accept, yes. embrace. I accept, embrace, yes. and celebrate my ability to help myself. So what are we doing? Like the race, when we have a race, a real race, or normal race. So when the person starts running, we don't know whether he's going to come first, second, or third, or what. But his team will go on saying, come on, you can do it, you can do it, you are capable. So when yes. we say celebrate, that is what we are saying, I accept, I accept that I need help. I embrace the fact that I, I uh, will help myself. Yes. But I'm celebrating the fact that I can and I will and I want to help myself. Yes. So you just do this and you don't have to do anything. Yes. As I was telling others, I think you came a little later. Do yeah. it every, uh, on Achy. the 31st night. Achy yeah. Do it every day. And get up on the morning of first and do it also so that you are charging yourself up for the new year. Yes, oh, so I should. I'll yeah. do it. Every day, day and night. Yes. And I do. think today when you said this, Aarti ma'am, my heart has some hope. I have been thoda, you know, feeling low because of this, exactly this issue. Now when you told me, like, really I felt something in my heart that, yes, you can, you know, you have to work on it. You can do it. Aarti ma'am did not see this. <laughs> the universe has spoken. The radical has and, spoken. And believe me, Apurva, it's because of Apurva, I just landed here. Aarti ma'am, seriously, I just landed here because it was just what I saw on the this and I came. Thank you very much. I right. needed this. Thank you, Apurva, good. and thank you, Aarti ma'am. I'm meant to be here, Anjali, just be at ease. And that is what we are all about, you know, to be there as a community, to stand for each other, to help each other. But the learning has to be yours and the effort has to be yours with all of us individually. Everything can be told, but to apply it is your responsibility. So the day you take up your own responsibility in life, you're done. Half your problems start getting sorted out. Or baby steps are the best steps, Anjali. Don't feel ever, you know, I know illnesses, etc. I know nothing about you. But no, all times are clashing, you know, like all the classes, even if I want to attend, since I have... Um them at home it's fine but nowadays i'm finding this you know i've been quite serious everything you know with my radical but nowadays i when the late night classes are i'm too tired and when the other classes i want to attend but there is something either there is this that or something in the house now okay now i am responsible for this because i have to try and find a way out of it yeah 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 right so i realize this maybe I... you know i'm also not too much like I've let it go because I'm living with radical, you know, in my heart. And right. I'm seriously, it's made me quite strong, less uh, less emotional, less this and all. So maybe, you know, but I need to work on it to put it in practice for these Absolutely. things. Absolutely. That only, any, as I said earlier, 
unless we do it ourselves, nobody can help us. God helps those who help themselves. So, but but you know what? I think uh, Anjali, you can take uh, um, courage and uh, sort of inspiration from one person who's right here at with us right now, and that's Sharda. Sharda is in Spain. Yes. But whenever things have happened in the early morning, also six o'clock or seven thirty, jo prosperity. I know. Country, yes, I know her. I know her from, in her from Spain. Can you imagine yes. the time difference? It's two o'clock in the night for her. Yes. But she does. Yes. She comes. Yes. And yes. I know her from her first, how yeah. she manages it. So this is really, uh, uh, you know, commendable. But yeah, it's not about making excuses. I know sometimes our body and our mind does get tired and sometimes we feel, I mean, thak jate na, phir hota hai ki nahi ho sakta. No, no. Sab nahi, kaan pe laga ke I can put, see, I'm, and I'm working, either I'm giving making something, my mother-in-law is doing something. It's not that I'm free. But yeah. exactly that time, you know. So nowadays I ask myself, why is this time coming? You mm. know, and it's, the time is becoming fixed. So I just don't like to put it on my ear, the phone, earphones, and then I feel I'm not loyal to it, you know. No, no, no. Rather than no, that, no. I wouldn't want it. It's I mean, I don't know. I think, I think, Anjali, all you need to do is ask yourself, what is the brilliance in me getting all these resistances? or hurdles yeah. in whatever I want to achieve. Work on that. Not think yes. why are you coming. You think about it. Yes. What is the brilliance? What do you want to learn from Which means, whatever comes, you work on that first. And then gradually yes. things can, you know, start shifting in your space. No worries. And we're yes. all there. Don't worry. We are all there. Anytime that yes. you need any of us. Thank right. You. You're welcome, Anjali. Geeta. You want a reading, Gita Chaudhary? Gita? No. Who else is there? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Gita, your reading is NL3. Left relaxation chakra, which means that yes. beach beach me up for relax karne ki himmat karne chahiye. That means need to relax periodically, overcoming stress, and yes. need to be stress free. Sahi hai? Okay. Yes, Guru Sahi hai, ma'am. Kuki. I बस मतलब जब मैं बीमार हो जाती हूँ तो फिर सोचती हूँ कि कोई मेरे को भी पूछे कि तुमको क्या चाहिए या कोई मुझसे बात करे लेकिन ऐसा होता नहीं है तो फिर मुझे लगता है कि मुझे खुद को अपने आप ही रिलैक्स करना चाहिए यहाँ पे कोई तुमको आके ये बोलने ना वाला नहीं है कि तुमको भी आज तुम बीमार हो तो तुमको चाहे चाहिए या तुम्हें क्या हुआ है तुम्हारे पास कोई बैठने वाला नहीं है तो तो ऐसा कोई बात नहीं कोई बात नहीं तुम्हें दर्द हो रहा था तो तुमने आराम कर लिया ऐसा नहीं होगा वो मेरे को अगर मेरे को दर्द भी हो रहा है और मैं मतलब आराम करके थोड़ा गई हूँ तो मुझे उल्टा सुनने को ही मिलेगा की मतलब रिएक्शन ही मिलेगा ऐसा होगा तो जब रिएक्शन मिलता है तो कैसा लगता है बहुत गुस्सा आता है मतलब ऐसा लगता है कि सब कुछ जो भी मन में है अभी निकाल दो यहीं पे तो जो भी कुछ निकाल दो उनको नहीं निकाल अपनी पावर फील होती है कि हाँ मेरे अंदर कुछ है गुड पर वो जो गुस्सा है अपने अंदर वो सारा गुस्सा तुम रेडिकल के मेंटर्स के साथ मिलके निकाल दो जब तुम अपने अंदर से सब भड़ास निकाल लोगी तब तुम्हारा मन और तन दोनों शांत होना शुरू होगा और वो शांत है कि ये मैं हूँ हाँ वो मुझे लगता है कि हाँ ये हूँ मैं मेरे अंदर भी कुछ है बच्चा हाँ तो क्योंकि गीता इफ यू कीप हैविंग एक्सपेक्टेशंस फ्रॉम अदर्स वो कभी पूरी नहीं होंगे क्योंकि वो हमारी नीड है कि हमें एक्सपेक्टेशन हो रही है दूसरों से और जब पूरी नहीं होती तो हम जज करते हैं उनको कि वो हमारे लिए कर नहीं रहे हैं 
जब हम बीमार होते हैं तभी तो होती है जब हम ठीक होते हैं तब तो हमको किसी से कोई एक्सपेक्टेशन होती ही नहीं है नहीं वो होता है जब आदमी का मेंटल मेंटली कमजोर होता है बीमारी में तो लगता ही है आई अंडरस्टैंड दैट बट अपने आप में इतनी शक्ति पैदा कर लो कि मैं अपने में संपूर्ण हूँ मुझे किसी की जरूरत नहीं है इसमें कोई ईगो नहीं है मैं ये सिखा रहे हैं कि अपने आप को संपन्न और संपूर्ण रखोगी तो तुम्हारी जिंदगी आगे बढ़ने में आसानी शुरू होगी जब तक तुम अपने में संपूर्ण नहीं होगी तुम्हारे आसपास की जितनी एनर्जीज हैं वो कभी भी शिफ्ट नहीं होगी उनका शिफ्ट होने के लिए तुमको संपूर्ण हाँ जैसे मैं पहले मेड से मतलब फालतू बातें करती थी लेकिन अब कुछ दिन से मैंने उसको अलग कर रखा है जबकि आज मैं बीमार थी तब भी मैंने उसका बहुत उसको अपने पास ज्यादा नहीं आने दिया कि नहीं तुम जाओ मैं अपनी मम्मी से मैं अपनी मदर इन को फोन कर लूंगी मुझे तुम्हारी मदद मतलब तुम जाओ मैं उनसे बात कर लूंगी मुझे क्या चाहिए क्योंकि मुझसे मदद लेके मुझे बुरा लगता है बाद में नहीं नहीं बुरा तो जब मैं बीमार है गीता अगर कुछ मिल रहा है जो तुमको मिल रहा है समझो उससे क्या मिलेगा वो चाय बना देगी वो खाना बना देगी या दो बात कर लेगी मिल रहा है ले लो क्योंकि वो तुमको यूनिवर्स गिफ्ट कर रहा है अगर हस्बैंड या वाले भी पूछो कोई बात नहीं ये पूछ रही है तो भी ठीक है घर वाले नहीं पूछ रहे तो भी ठीक है जब इस स्टेट में आ जाओगी ना तो तुम अपनी शक्ति देखना कितनी ज्यादा बढ़ जाएगी तुम्हारे अंदर तो तुम्हारे लिए स्टेटमेंट है इंग्लिश में है मैं बताऊँ हाँ इंग्लिश में बता दी मुस्कुराओ मुस्कुराओ जिंदगी मुस्कुराने के लिए मैं करती हूँ लेकिन जब मेरे को कुछ हो जाता है मेरे दांत में दर्द हो जाता है तो फिर मेरे को लगता है कि मेरे को भी कोई चाहिए <laughs> नहीं तो मैं सिर्फ अपना भगवान अपना यूनिवर्स अपने हायर कॉन्शियसनेस अपने मास्टर चाहिए और कोई नहीं चाहिए ना तुम्हारा बेटा ना बेटी ना हस्बैंड ना कोई कोई नहीं चाहिए बस मैं बेटा बेटी तो है ना मेरे मैं मैं वैसे बता रही हूँ की किसी की जरूरत ठीक है Just relax. आप इस चीज को कीजिए and uh, I'm sure it'll help you a lot. Okay? Bina के लिए मैं या thank you welcome. Bina. Yeah, I'm back. कार दे. Okay. Thank you so, for your patience and not at you. all, not at all. Your chakra was I noted the number. Yeah, CR fifteen. This is right honor chakra. Reminder to let go of emotional effect of past shame and shameful incidents, and invite others to honor you, your family, and your universe. So the key words are honor, prestige, privilege, esteem, low self-esteem, unworthy feeling, and embarrassment. Okay. so bina what is radical telling you i invite others to treat me all my people or my belongings it depends what you are wanting to help yourself for i invite others to treat me with due honor thanks again I invite others to treat me with due honor. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So keep reciting this because this would be very helpful for you. And the more you recite it, the better you can let go of all those feelings that are, you know, surrounding you all the time, which make you feel a lot of discomfort, M- emotional discomfort, mental discomfort, and physical discomfort, etc. so i invite others to treat me with due honor okay i invite others to treat me with due honor yeah all right so uh, i have a small doubt to ask arte 
سلام ہے نا اپارٹ فرام ریسائٹنگ دس واٹ اسٹیٹمنٹ ہیو بین گیون آئی در آئی ڈونٹ فیل کمپلیٹ ایٹ دیٹ اسٹیج آل دو اٹ از ہیلپنگ ٹو سرٹن ایکسٹینٹ اوکے اور وین آئی ریسائٹ ایٹ سچ سچویشنس آئی فیل ہے نا آئی ایم ڈوئنگ دیٹ آل ریڈی اور سم ویئر یو نو آئی واز آلسو ٹولڈ آر یو گاندھی جی اوکے بیکاز اٹس ناٹ اباؤٹ وائلنس اگین یو نو بیرنگ ٹالریٹنگ میکنگ اٹ ایزی فار ادر پیپل ٹو ڈو دیٹ بٹ ویر ایز ناٹ آئی ہیو بین ٹرائنگ ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ دس واٹ از اٹ ان می دیٹ اٹس ایون سی دیٹ چینج آئی مین ٹو سی دا پرسپشن ایکچولی اوکے بٹ اسٹل سم ٹائمس آئی فیل واٹ دیس پیپل آر ٹیلنگ از رائٹ okay so, uh, be nice like this let me i'm sorry i'm cutting you in thing is you have done the very minimum of radical you've done only rcm if i don't know i think you've done it a long time back right and after that radical has changed so much and all the people that you see here on the platform each one has come here on this platform means who have been with radical now with the online courses etc the proper curriculum not just attending you know things like this is they understand the absolute essence of what radical can do for them the journey has sometimes taken people one year six months eight months 10 months two years to be where they are today so nothing nothing in any case can be done in a you know in a quick fashion or a quick manner that i should get an instant it's not like instant coffee so you will have to either take up the curriculum and start being part of it because many of them here when they started they were in a very bad state mentally or emotionally or financially or relationship wise etc so for that to start helping you because right now when you do the statements you feel you know i'm doing the statements and nothing is happening why because they are already advanced enough to know okay today i don't have to look for the why i have to only look for the brilliance of it today i don't have to look at this i just need to synchronize with it today i, I, don't, think have I don't have any doubt about the statements what i mean to say is uh, you know it is no no doubt it is helping me but either i don't feel complete or uh, you know uh, there is something like uh, a kind of helplessness that i feel see whether it is this one single statement or the complete that recitation that we do okay and i have always felt uh, connected among the senior uh, therapist like you okay yeah. again here i i don't mean to point out uh, uh, you know certain people incapable of doing it maybe my uh, issue is to that extent that uh, you know some of them are not able to reach out to that extent okay uh, but you know to be very honest uh, uh, can i talk for two more minutes or, or uh, uh, this is not the platform i don't want to disturb no, it's a different platform and here we just talk about i mean the specific thing was today only for chakra reading and yeah. i think we have another person here parimita and i've already exceeded my time it's still 9 o'clock and it's already gone ahead why don't you come on the open house or something you know where you can really speak or talk to atman or just get everything out of your system and she can also guide you correctly as to what path or uma for that matter so that she can help you and guide you correctly what path you need to take so don't worry we are all here to help you but this particular platform actually is the is the how would i say the fun and the social platform it is for all other kinds of topics you know and not anything uh, specific to a particular line of thought uh, which any student is going through if you understand that is that okay yeah, with you uh, i think if you don't mind today or tomorrow if you can give me a, a time i will not take more than 10 to 15 minutes of your time to connect on uh, i will connect with you i'll call you up tomorrow so hmm? may i yeah uh, but uh, anyway we'll talk tomorrow and uh, right now i think we have parmita parmita you need a reading yes yes ma'am 
All right. Thank you, Arthur. You're welcome, Bina. All right, Paramita, this is for you. Hmm. NR4, right articulation chakra. Reminder to understand others in a better way. Paramita, it says, uh, do you have a problem in communication with people or you feel people don't understand you or you're not able to communicate to them something that you want to tell them or is uh, this feeling of being absolutely feeling dumb? I mean, there's no other word. Feeling dumb. Yes, ma'am. Sometimes maybe uh, from my childhood, I have uh, so much uh, thoughts or so much feelings, but I uh, can't express. Maybe I was so much introvert. But uh, still now uh, it is changed so much. But still now sometimes um, I may want to convey one thing in a, uh, one type of meaning. But maybe um, while listening, they are taking it another way. Uh, it happens uh, sometimes. So somewhere the interpretation, somewhere it is getting blocked. You are saying something, people are understanding something else, right? So what Radical is telling you is to, you can write this down. Uh, maybe Apurva, you can type it in the group. I open up to understand verbal communication from others. Okay. Sometimes I open. to understand verbal communication from okay. others. Verbal now what happens sometimes? We, either somebody talks to us. But are we only hearing or are we listening? There's a difference. So when we only hear, then our responses are different. But when we listen, Ketani in Hindi, as they say, uski awaz mein dard tha. Uska dard mujhe samaj mein a gaya. So what have you done? You have gone beyond just hearing what the other person is saying and listened to the real need that is being presented to you. Need or requirement or, uh, you know, whatever else it may be. So maybe the same thing has been happening to you. You are saying something, but people are not understanding you. So when you start understanding yourself, when you start paying attention to yourself, when you start becoming clear in your thoughts with yourself apne andar to bahar expression bhi aapka theek aayega all right but that means radical is saying take care of it so work on it that means with this uh, affirmation you say it every day to yourself because this is specifically only for you it is not you know a general uh, affirmation so, uh, Paramita, you understand? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, actually, I apply for online remote job. Uh, that time, I don't need any verbal communication. At that time, also, I'm not getting a response from any uh, actually genuine job. Uh, okay. So, maybe... but I'm uh, continue trying it. Yeah. Uh, have a positive approach and keep trying. Keep your verbal communication channel open. Verbal doesn't necessarily mean talking. Even this online is verbal. Across, we are sending messages to somebody. Somebody responds to us. Sometimes the response is not so nice and we feel bad about it. Somebody doesn't respond, we feel worse about it. So that's also communication. So keep your communication channels healthy. And the responses will be healthy for you over time. One thing I want to say again and again to all of us here, nothing happens in a hurry. Uh, one second, Arte. Yeah. Bina here. Yeah. Uh, uh, I have just uh, pinned in the chat window. Please mm -hmm. uh, suggest. Oh. 
ഡയറക്റ്റ്ലി പെയിൻറ് ചെയ്യാം ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ഈസ് ഓൾ ഓഫ് സഡൻ മാർത്തെ അതർ പാർട്ട് ബീങ് ഫ്രൈഡ് അലോട്ട് സ്റ്റഡേ നൈറ്റ് ആൻഡ് സിൻസ് മോർണിംഗ് ഐ എം ട്രൈങ് ടു ബൗൺസ് ബാക്ക് and uh, this has been a uh, uh, little bit of uh, breakdown everything has been happening since more than 2 days okay so you are highly charged right now uh, bina so just firstly relax i'll take a reading for you and whatever comes up please practice that one okay just keep saying it to yourself okay okay right this is <coughs> sorry right relief chakra can you hear me no it is completely breaking arte uh, apurva can you please, please everyone not able to cr1 right relief chakra so i resolve and relieve myself from the past backlog i resolve and relieve myself from the past backlog just write up urba uh, uh, bina this is for you sorry uh we have written in the chat the affirmation that you need to do bina yeah please tell me it's in the chat in the meeting chat okay have a look Okay. Okay. Yeah? Please do this. No, it is the same thing you can make sometime back, I believe. So if it is coming again, then that means you have to resolve it. Okay. If it is repeating and coming back again and again, Bina, it is an indication from the universe that you need to work on it a little more and resolve it so resolve yeah. resolution may take Let time i am not sure again if it is only with me or things are only it is breaking uh, uh bina your voice is breaking if you can shift to a better location i can't hear you right Apurva, Now I'm able able to hear you clearly, Arte. I mean, while you you clearly, while say that you are making the ship, uh, don't mind. Can you please complete what you were telling me? I just said, resolve and relieve myself from the past backlog. If it's coming back again and again in your space, means that you still have to work on it. And to okay. work on it means not just one or two days. It could be three months. You have to work on it. Say it 21 times daily. and work on it for 3 months and see what happens okay minimum 3 months yeah i'm just worried now okay. this elbow fracture recently and i feel it is a planned one uh, uh, we know we can't talk from... about it over here right now please uh, yeah. we can discuss it later okay and yeah, uh, yeah. okay sure. so Anjana you asked for a reading and that's the last one for today. Yeah. Thank you Art. You're welcome Bina. Uh Anjali oh no I'm Anjana sorry. SR12 right positivity chakra. Reminder to know that all that happens happens for the good. so i'll read the key words that means you have to look at everything with a very positive uh, approach as you move forward into the new year which means if there are reasons for you to have if you have reasons that are bothering you or something that is not working in your space have a positive approach for it to make you move forward optimism maybe there is a fear of adversity there is a fear of something going wrong anxiety stress
fearfulness, expecting negativity, but there is a need to invite positivity. Anjana, is this okay? Does it uh, does it make sense to you? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Ma'am. Okay. Yeah. So radical is just saying that if all this is in your space, just ignore. Look at the brilliance in it and move forward with confidence, with positivity, with optimism uh, into the you know, next year. So the statement is. All that happens, happens for the greater good. Simple. So whatever is happening in your space is happening for the greater good. So you can also say, I synchronize with the greater good in my life. I synchronize with the greater good in my life. Anjana? Yeah, yeah, I'm just noting it down. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You, that, you want me to write it down? or Whatever way you'd like to do it, I have suggested mm -hmm. to everybody that mm -hmm. say at least 21 times on the 31st night mm -hmm. and again on uh, what do you call it? 30, uh, no, 1st January mm -hmm. on the morning when you wake up that means yeah. you're setting the pattern for the whole year. Okay, okay. And even beyond that, if you want to go on saying it, you're most welcome. That I synchronize with the greater good in my life or all that happens, happens for the greater good. Fine. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Thank you so okay. much. You're welcome. Uh, Bhuvna, I was asking, but you did not respond. Okay, here we go. Last one. Again, AC1, security chakra. Reminder to restore a sense of security and belonging. Reminder to feel secure. Maybe you have a lot of insecurities, worries, fears, anticipation of adversities. Fear of loss, fear of losing, fear, I mean, fear of losing something. And the positive thing out of this is security. Uh, Bhuvna, if you can tell me if this is okay for you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So just say, I rediscover, I rediscover the sense of security in me. I rediscover the sense of security in me. Okay, excellent. Great. So thank you very much, all of you. You have been a wonderful audience and very kind of all of you to be here till the end. I wish you all a great start to the new year and a very good finish to 2023. Let's all look forward to 2024 with gratitude, and love and anticipation that all that will happen will happen for the greater good, right? So happy new year in advance and then I'll meet you again next Friday. Thank you so much. All the best. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, Thank you. you so much, ma'am. Happy new year to you and everyone. Thank you. Thank you. And good night. Thank you. Bye-bye.